This guide shows you how to format a USB pen drive to FAT32. Handy for games consoles, satellite boxes, car stereos, etc. So, first of all, we need to make sure that all of our external drives and pen drives are unplugged. It must also be pointed out that formatting will wipe the contents of the drive and if you're not sure what you're doing it could wipe the contents of another drive so please make sure you've got a backup of anything important before proceeding I can't take any responsibility for any loss following this guide let's open up file explorer first of all so to do this we need to press the Windows key on our keyboard the Windows key is located between the CTRL and the ALT key on the bottom row of your keys then tap the letter E up will come the file explorer box then we need to click this PC or computer if you're using Windows 7 under devices and drivers this is where our pen drive will appear when we plug it in if you can't see anything under devices and drivers you may well find that it's closed up that's if the arrow is pointing towards the right towards devices and drivers if that's the case left click the arrow to the left of devices and drivers once and that will make these appear Next thing we need to do is plug in our pen drive. Keep an eye on your screen as you're plugging in your pen drive as we'll need to make a note of what appears. As you can see on my screen, E has appeared. Now, we need to write down whatever is in the, inside the brackets. So in my case, it would be E colon. So please write this down now. This is very important because you'll need this a little bit later on in the guide. Next thing we need to do is we need to go to command prompt. So now we need to click on the start button and then type CMD. Hopefully command prompt should appear. Move your mouse over command prompt, right click and then left click run as administrator. If this appears, left click yes. Now we need to type format space forward slash capital F capital S colon capital F capital A capital T 32 space forward slash capital Q forward slash and this is where we type what was in in between the brackets when we plug the USB drive into the machine in my case it was E colon so I'm going to type E colon here now press enter or return on your keyboard. Now, at this point, if you're not 100% sure what you're doing, then I'd recommend quitting out by clicking the cross in the top right hand corner here. But if you're 100% sure what you're doing and you're prepared to lose data if you've got it wrong, then press the enter or return key. Okay, it's asking for a volume label. We can just press enter on here or return on our keyboard. So just do that. And it's now should be formatting. If you've got a message indicating the volume size is too big, it might be that your USB drive is over 32 gigabytes and uh, you might need to use another utility to format it. I do have a video on my YouTube channel which tells you how to do this. Have a look on my YouTube channel and uh, there'll be a video that, that'll enable you to download a program to do this. Okay, so that's now formatted. So we can click on the cross up here to get rid of the command prompt window. And then we can right click on our removable drive here. And we can left click properties, left click general. And we should see there it says file system FAT32. So that's it. And then we just click the cross in the top right hand corner here to close this down. And the cross in the top right hand corner of file explorer. And that's it. That's done. That's now ready for use in your device which requires FAT32. Thanks for watching.